Hello there, I'm PA, Loris Vergier Mechanic, Santa Cruz Syndicate, uh, 2019 season, and welcome to my toolbox. So we start with a Pelly case, Pelly case 1560. So yes, they're really good, a good size and good way to travel in. So a little drill, light, and the battery lasts forever with a T25 for the rotor. And I have this as well to change, boom, boom, to wheel some builds, to build some wheels. Sorry, but I always uh, finish by hand and everything, you know, hand tight. And if I just use it just to zoot. I got some extra spring for Loris, 475, 500. In here, some extras as well. Yeah, it does miss around a lot. Just every run, you want to change the spring pretty much. And it saves Jordi speaking to him. Yeah, because Jordi just like, fuck off now, so you have to deal with it. <laughs> oh, I got a spare iPhone cable. I fucking forget about that. But yeah, there's one here. Um, uh, tire gauge. I have a couple of those. We went shopping yesterday in Maribo, and I found those little tools. They are my favorite. Look at that. Special. So yeah, just really sharp knives. So yeah, I like those just for details and cutting stuff around and everything, Loris, you know, like cutting stickers or cutting whatever needs to be cut down. In this pocket, so that's a blade kit. So another petty case, 1040. So which is good, so the oil doesn't leak anywhere. That's some uh, special stuff for the, for the fork. And yeah, blade kit. So yeah, once it's closed, doesn't leak anywhere. Cool. Boom, done. So the Shimano, just to cut, cut the horses and everything, which is really good, I love that tool. Some uh, suspension Loris setting workbook and my workbook. Put some nuts down. Tennessee Windrock last year, San Romolo last year as well. Yeah, pay in France, that was good. Oh yeah, a red pen now. Yeah, okay. So everything has got an order to go back in, otherwise it just doesn't close. Are you pretty good at keeping it tidy? No. I'm, I'm rabbit, that's why I need a, a special tool like this, otherwise all my tools will be just everywhere. And Loris, everyone is just going to change something different every time, so I need to have everything ready to go because I never know what will be the next thing to do. First row, I love those little Motion Pro Allen key. So that's to set up shocks, so 3 mil and 6 mil. And Greg used it too, he, he, lo he loves my tool, so every time Greg is like, oh, PA, can I borrow your tool? A 5, a 4, T25 in here. Just a tool I'm using the most, really. A 6, a 8. I made the foam myself, it's not the best of the best, but... So, yeah, but I really want like a laser cut, like a fancy stuff. What is best for me, and I like different colors as well, so I know what is going on like the blue stuff i know you know like when you comes in and just oh screwdrivers and yeah like this one i know it's a four because this one is a five and i know this one is a way six this one is an eight this is just you know when or when it's messy on your table you just find it yeah nipex i like the nipex stuff good stuff so little nipex baby nipex i like it second row now so no 10 because we never use a 10 so why carrying it those uh, tire levers are the best in the world. Pedro's big tire levers, oh my days, they're the best. And you just use it like this. That's it, even for you, uh, for food and everything, everything you want to do with it. With a long hand. And I have a, I have a special one too, from uh, Jimmy. So yeah, just like this, just by hand. So it's really like more sensitive, like this. And after you flip it, ooh, and after all the way around. So yeah, I like that little tool. Someone give it to me, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. French knife for saucisson and baguette. Every day, saucisson, baguette, fromage, ready to go in here. So yeah, so before it was like this, and I chop it down to make it a bit shorter. 23 kilo maximum for airplane, no question asked. Oh, here we go, an airplane, done. Loctite, blue Loctite. And for the lip as well. There we go, perfect. All made uh, classic nipple tool. You know, you just screw your nipple and you helps you to put it on. 
So yeah, that's uh, everyone knows, every mechanic knows that trick. Fine. Third row, all that fancy DT Swiss tools, my favorites. Look at that, that's so nice. Like this, that gauge, that tool, this one, oh my days, my favorite. This one is so lovely. <laughs> and those ones as well, just just a classic nipple tie. It's just, it's even like concave there and it's like, it's not gonna scratch your rim or anything. It just goes into your nipple really nicely and on your hands, it's just, everything is good about it. I mean, yeah. Do you use it on your own nipples? Yeah, every day like this, Ooh. perfect. So 32, so, and I use a lathe to make it flat here, you see? So there's no uh, ding, 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 all around. So when it goes on a, on a fork, it just take it off really nicely. Same size for bottom bracket. There we go, like this. So yeah, try to use tools for two different things and everything, you know, just to keep, keep the weight down and easy to find in the toolbox. So those tools are really old. So when I was in New Zealand, I used to work for Nitro Circus back in the days and I bought a bike, say, in New Zealand. And I trade the guy, the bike, with a bit of money for some seats for Nitro Circus show. And I was like, oh, do you have any tools as well? And he gave me his toolbox, just his full toolbox with like heaps of stuff and everything. And that come, that was in his toolbox as well. So, there we go. I got that magic box, two broth. When uh, on the morning I'm too too much on hurry, a little clean, easy, as well you know to take the dirt off or anything. Um, Jordi Cortez from Fox gave me this for the fork, you know the seals around the fork and just to put a bit of a bit of oil like Loris really like this before every run. So yeah, thank you Jordi, I appreciate. This too, so it's like all the medium chips to go on the rear axle. So I've got this brake mount and everything so it's all ready to go it's in one pieces feedback will stand look at this i copy the boys and so yeah we adjust it with some bolts like a, a rear anger and a rear axle so you put the wheel in like this you tighten it and after there's this thing coming like this and you just make it good and to know if it's centered or not you just flip the wheel up, up, you flip it, and it's good to go. I travel everywhere and I always have a true stand. Oh, those new PD valves, oh, they are so good. This is soft, so when you tighten it down, it just like goes very well on the rim. That, well done, Steve, well done. Favorite tool of all time and why? Uh, shit, I don't know. Uh, let me think. Those Motion Pro shocks tuner. I like those. They are just really well made. It's a tool I ate. This one, because it's three years old now, it doesn't cut that much, it's not that sharp. So every time I'm using it, I'm like, fuck, I need to buy a new one. But I always forget. So I've just ended up now with like something not sharp at all anymore. Cool. I think that's it. I like my tools. I like playing with tools, it's fun.